I just got in this wireless meat thermometer. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you some of its features. So before I open this up, I just wanted to show you the package that it comes in. It does have a little handle. You can easily carry it this by if you are traveling with it, but it also comes with this hard case that is nice and hard on both sides, just so you know the contents on the inside are not going to get damaged. So it has this nice zipper. We'll open it up and see all the contents inside. So let me just pull out everything that this comes with. This also comes with a user manual that has some really nice pictures and instructions on the inside. So let me take these out so we can see them a little bit better. In the user manual, this is called the repeater and this is basically the power box. It has an on and off switch right here. It has a C port right here in order to charge this device. And then it also has a USB port in order to charge the actual probes themselves. Once you charge this all the way, this will last for about three months, so that's really nice. This is that charge cable that's both going to charge this device and then connect the probes to the repeater. These are the actual probes themselves. There are two of them, which I really like because more often than not, you are wanting to check the temperature of two different things. So that's gonna be really nice. You can remove the probes out of here just like that. Before you use them, you're gonna want to plug them into this little power bank right here for about 20 minutes, just so that they are good and ready to go. These, when they're fully charged, can last 36 hours, so that's great. This is what the probe itself looks like. It's just a little metal looking dowel and then it has a little handle right here. So this is basically the handle that you're going to stick it into the meat to read the temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and get all these pieces fully charged up and then I'm gonna try them out. All right, so I have this little power bank fully charged up and ready to go. You can see when you turn this on, it has the green lights right here indicating that it's fully charged and ready to go. Now that I have this USB end of the cable plugged into the power bank, I'm gonna plug this other end into the probes. And you can see these little lights are turning on down here. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's some red lights on down here. I'm gonna let this charge up for about 20 minutes so these are ready to use as well. So I just got these probes completely charged up here and ready to go. You can see the number one is the one that I am using right now. And you can see that it's reading the temperature and it's connected to Bluetooth and everything. And the app was super easy to set up. I'm actually have some chicken in the oven and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this probe in the chicken and it just, I'll be able to read the temperature on the outside here. Okay, now that I have the probe in the oven, I'm just reading the temperature. It's climbing up to the full temperature that it is at right now. So I'm gonna see about when it stops so I'll know exactly where the temperature is. I really love that I don't have to keep opening the oven and changing the oven temperature and wasting the energy that goes into heating the oven and I can just use the app and just know exactly what temperature it's at. That's gonna be so useful. So the internal temperature of the chicken should be 165 degrees. And so I'm just gonna wait and see when the temperature gets up to that level. All right, now that I see that the temperature has just reached just above 165 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the chicken out. All right, I just took this chicken out of the oven right here and you can see the internal temperature is about at 167 degrees. So I am really happy about that. I love that this grip right here, it's not too hot for me to just grab out. Overall, I feel like this is super useful to be able to read the temperature as it's cooking and you don't have to open and close the oven. And I love how accurate this reading is.